Hello, thank you for watching this video in which we'll explain what maintenance mode is in SCOM, why you need it and uh, why there's benefits to scheduling it from within SideServiceNow. So let's start really quickly by taking a look at what maintenance mode is. Um, so for those of you who are more familiar with ServiceNow, SCOM is a monitoring tool that over time will generate alerts for um, issues it detects with the things it's monitoring and um, that's the whole premise of what the product is and does. But during the operation of these machines, lifetime you need to do things to them. Um, these are typically Windows machines or Linux machines. They need maintaining, they need patching. So for example, installing Windows updates. A very common thing that happens, and when you do this, um, SCOM uh, will light up and generate just tons and tons of alerts for the machines that are being patched because uh, Windows Update will take down services, you may, ha may need to reboot machines, that kind of thing. Um, now, under your ITIL uh, defined change process, this will be within a change request in a change window. So it's fine to do it, um, but SCOM as a tool needs to be told about it. And, um, and this is sort of done via use of the maintenance maintenance mode functionality of SCOM to say, while these patches are, are kind of happening, um, don't generate alerts for this box because we know this is going to happen. Now, why does this matter to you as a ServiceNow person? Well, if SCOM is connected to ServiceNow, you'll be automating the process of raising incidents for these SCOM alerts. Now, you want those for most of these SCOM alerts. It saves a whole bunch of work in entering them in the first place. But where a machine is uh, being patched, you don't want them. You want that machine to be in maintenance mode um, so that those alerts and therefore the incidents don't happen because you don't want to be dealing with a whole bunch of uh, alerts and therefore incidents that are uh, not useful because you know you're going to get them. That's the whole, whole premise of maintenance mode essentially in SCOM. Um, so how does the process of hooking SCOM and ServiceNow um, up look sort of um, historically? Well, um, it would start in sort of ServiceNow with a change request being granted. Um, this would be then emailed across to the SCOM administrator who would set up manually maintenance mode. It works okay, but it's obviously very error prone. If mails get lost, um, that could be a problem. If the SCOM administrator uh, inputs data incorrectly into SCOM, uh, you know, uh, things can go wrong. And of course, it's just another manual process. So this takes time. Um, now with uh, the maintenance mode add-on for our um, AlertSync products, we can take away this pain by allowing change requests effectively to control maintenance mode in SCOM. It means the SCOM guy has nothing to do. Maintenance mode schedules can be created, cancelled or updated from ServiceNow. Uh, that's the premise of how it works. Um, in terms of moving parts, we have obviously ServiceNow and we have SCOM. We have um, our Cookdown Alert Sync Management Pack, which goes into SCOM. This is the thing that will send across SCOM alerts into ServiceNow, into our ServiceNow certified store app called the SCOM Connector. There's an add-on for the SCOM Connector called the Maintenance Mode Add-on, which handles the scheduling of maintenance mode. It's an add-on rather than part of the SCOM Connector ServiceNow store app, and that's because it adds a table to ServiceNow, uh, which in some instances ServiceNow will charge for, and we didn't want to inflict this uh, extra table on customers who don't plan to use the functionality, so it's an add-on. Uh, but it will do nothing without um, Alert Sync and the SCOM Connector. Um, so that's basically the scene set. Let's, let's see it in practice now. So just before we dive into a demo, this is our ServiceNow certified store app that this maintenance mode add on, adds on to. Um, so we're going to start in ServiceNow. And this is our SCOM connector with the maintenance mode add on here. The first thing we're going to do is create a maintenance mode schedule in inside of ServiceNow. We're going to specify which uh, machines we want to put into maintenance mode. I'm going to pick Infra AD02. And I'm going to say that I want this maintenance mode to take effect immediately. And all I need to do for this is set a time in the past. Let's set it an hour ago. And say that it comes out of maintenance mode. Let's give it, um, let's give it an hour or something. Just to illustrate the point. Um, we can associate it with a change request here if there's already one created um, and say you requested this 
uh, maintenance mode be scheduled and whether it was planned or or not planned outage essentially um, but we're we're planning it we're planning maintenance mode so we're going to plan it we'll then hit submit it will say this is uh, starting in the past are you sure you want to begin and once it's saved if I go into SCOM um, this is the UI for setting up a connection you can see that we've we've configured SCOM to accept inbound maintenance requests. It's actually a pull from SCOM rather than a push from ServiceNow. And you can see that our connection is healthy, it's connected. Uh, if I go across to the monitoring tab now and go to Windows Computers and I find my Infra ADO2 machine, what we should see in a minute is that it goes into maintenance mode. Um, it's configured to take a minute or two so we had to have to wait for a minute or two for this to go into maintenance mode. While we're waiting, I'm going to show you something else. The other thing that's quite cool that you can do um, is from a change request, you can put in a machine to maintenance mode. So if I go now and create a change request, I can specify here um, that this uh, we want to shuttle SCON maintenance mode from this change request. Now this is a, an, an optional script. This isn't sort of a default because um, we wouldn't want to modify service now to add extra fields or add an extra script. So I can share um, how you would go about doing this. There's a, a support article on our website that will expose the script we used for this um, and how we went about doing this. But just for the demo, this checkbox would allow you to, at the point you input the change request, to get SCON to um, create a maintenance mode schedule, which is really quite cool. Back into SCOM now, and you can see this machine has been put into maintenance mode, and you can see its start and end dates have been set from what we uh, put in service now. Um, it's also possible to cancel maintenance mode um, from within inside of service now. So let's say now that my uh, my maintenance mode window, uh, we we changed our minds on it, we don't want to do it. We would come in here, hit the cancels checkbox, and go update, and. Uh, the next time that SCOM checks in with ServiceNow to get an update, it will realise this is cancelled and cancel maintenance mode. If you like what you've seen and you'd like to try it for yourself, go to cookdown.com forward slash alert sync where you can have a look at alert sync. Uh, we can give you free trials of alert sync, which will obviously create those ServiceNow incidents as well as handle maintenance mode. Um, all from SCOM alerts. Uh, you can book a demo and uh, of course ask us any question you like on it. Thank you for watching this video.